Guys and gals, we've got some testing of C-band in New York City, Verizon's 5G N77, and this is from PCMag.com, somebody who I follow on Twitter, and I read a lot of his posts, his blogs, his articles on PCMag. His name is Sasha Segan. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box for this article, and then you guys can check him out on Twitter and the social media. He does a really good job of covering cellular networking, and then specifically, he does a lot of you know, testing in the New York City area. Now, why is this important? Why am I discussing this now? Because New York City is the biggest PA in the country, right? It's New York, it's LA, we got the Chicago's of the world, Houston, Miami. Let's see what C-band is like, this N77 for Verizon, for him as he tested it. All right, so here's what he's seeing. N77 for Verizon, all right, mid-band 5G. Peak speeds of 735 megabits per second. All right, so he sees that. Uh, he mentions the channel depth of 60 megahertz. All right, so that lets you know how much bandwidth is there. And here he kind of spoke to the average download speeds. All right, so New York, right? Lots, it's densely populated, a lot of people. Average download speeds of 534 megabits per second. He tested in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. All right, he tested in Queens. And I think he mentioned some other parts of the city. All right, so 100 megabits is the worst um 733 down for peaks you know so like he's seeing good results right it looks to me like he's pretty happy about what he saw he says t-mobile has far better high speed coverage with far better performance across the whole city all right so verizon will continue to optimize i think that's probably right i mean that's what i'm seeing here in the cle too same situation every day when i test the sites they do seem to perform a little better. The range improves. The handoffs are better. And then sites are getting turned on, so you get more density. Fastest spot in Bed-Stuy, 534 to T-Mobile's 346. All right, so there's a segment of town. Maybe it's just the usage that makes it different. I don't know. You know, a lot of different factors there. Okay, so he mentions L.A. seeing 859, Pittsburgh seeing 586, Indianapolis 413. So we have metro areas you know, that are, that are getting this, that are performing pretty well. Looks to, looks like he was testing on an S21 plus. All right. And, uh, he mapped it or has a map. Okay. So <laughs> this must be the areas where they have, uh, no C band. Who knows? Maybe this is all airport impacted exclusion zones. All right. Here's some testing areas. You could, you guys can see the gear there. All right. That's all the N77 stuff. Pretty good stuff. I, I'm glad that he was able to share this. And I know day one he spoke about like how he wasn't able to find it. I'm just thinking sites weren't on yet. And then as the days went on, they were getting turned on, and he was able to connect to it. Here's some maps for it. And then here he talks about the exclusion zones. You know, JFK, LaGuardia. You know, they're all impacted by the whole FAA airline industry situation. And you know, that's all going to, you know, I've hopefully changed soon here in the next six months, but the exclusion zone is two miles from the airport, you know, so, and that's going to impact a place like New York City for sure. There's a lot of people in and around those airports. All right, here's some, you know, best C-band performance in Brooklyn. Uh, there's worst case in, in Queens. You guys can look at some of those numbers if you like, download speeds and upload speeds. And then here's Spectrum used. You guys can see the carriers and what they're doing there. And, uh, ooh, got a pop-up. Uh, no thanks right now. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this. He's saying he's testing 0.37 miles. I'm getting over, a, like, around a mile or better. I don't know. Like, this is this is great, though. All right? He's talking about the distance between sites. All right? Densification. I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to this in the description box, and you guys can read the whole thing and see what it is. He talks about carry aggregation here, all the bands there. You guys can see that's a lot of bandwidth. So it's going to be fast. Uh, thoughts and opinions down below on what you guys see here, the data and, and his article. And uh, give this video a like and a share. Subscribe for more. Turn on bell notifications so you never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter and email, my Patreon page. Support us. Get early access to videos and content not found anywhere else. And you get exclusive content not found anywhere else. And discounts on Los Mobile. That's it for this one. Good article from uh, Mr. Sasha Segan. Thanks for providing it, sir. We'll tag you on Twitter and let you know we appreciate you. Thank you. We'll see you guys on the next video.